Hey guys, James here, back with another video. So today I've got um, the an unboxing um, of the Western Digital Elements 5 terabyte external hard drive. And so I've bought this because um, even though I have a lot of actual internal hard drives, I realized I didn't have an external which I kind of needed because I don't have any more space in my um, actual PC for another hard drive, but it's always good to just have a backup in case something actually goes wrong with the actual PC itself. Um, and so, yeah, five terabytes is a is a good number to get. Um, six terabytes was not really worth it, so five was quite affordable. I got this for about two hundred dollars. It was on sale um, on eBay. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, the reason why I bought this. And so, um, you know, this this product itself is pretty simple. Um, you know, it just requires a USB, so it is USB 3.0, um, just requires the cable and then a, a power adapter. And there's nothing much fancy with this. Um, you can, you can get it to work with uh, Mac and um, PC. So I'll be formatting this uh, probably in the extended FAT format just because um, NTFS isn't recognized by all Macs and um, FAT32 can only transfer like maximum under eight gig or is it four gig, I can't remember. Um, and so the extended fat allows you to use it on both operating systems simultaneously without partitioning. And it um, basically allows you to copy files larger than eight gigabytes. Um, so um, that's pretty much what, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and I do that with all my hard drives and all my storage devices, um, most of them anyway. And um, yeah, just because it's, it's better. Now I won't work with like XP or like Vista, but who still uses those. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. Use my Gerber Dime. Take the plastic off. And yeah, let's just unbox it. So, what do we get? So, separating into three compartments. First thing, let's look at the manual. So, this is like a, um, a really large and very bulky installation guide. Really easy. Um, I mean, it's just plug and play, really. So we won't be using this at all. USB 3.0 cable. Um, it does have like uh, this this logo. So USB 3.0 is compatible with USB 2. In case people didn't know that, um, it also has your part numbers and, and your lot number and stuff like that so that's good for warranty um, so yeah, it's a pretty long cable um, I, my sister actually has a, a four terabyte so I actually have seen one of these before um, the power adapter so it's this is not a Western digital uh, power adapter it's actually uh, uh, yeah if you can see it's a k-tech AC adapter um, so yeah I mean that's I guess it's interesting that it's not Western Digital, but I'm sure Western Digital is just offloading their stuff, so that's fine. And then lastly is the actual thing itself. I mean, all of them kind of look the same. I mean, they are all the same. Um, it's just a different hard drive, like how all hard drives are the same. So we'll just put that aside. So uh, <coughs> let's start with the bottom. So at the bottom, you can see you have a Kensington lock. You have a USB 3.0. Now, I will take notice in case you didn't know, because I didn't know this for a very long time. Um, obviously, this connector is a USB 3 connector, right? But you can use this with USB 2.0. Now, I'll show you quickly what that looks like. So you think, oh, how does that work? Um, basically, this is a USB 2.0 cable, and you just slot it in to the, left, the right side of it. And that's it, you're using it in 2.0. And so if you, for example, uh, lost the cable or for whatever reason and you couldn't find it and you really needed something just really quickly to transfer um, without going to buy it one something, you can just use a USB tube on it. And so I didn't know that. And so that was really good because um, that's something that I didn't know. And so yeah, um, you have the power button, um, you have the DC in, so 12 volts. Um, and you just saw this trademark stuff. This is the, uh, serial number and stuff like that. There's venting holes uh, on the side, so that allows for it to cool, so that's all around the top. Um, so going to the front now, 
Um, somewhere here, I'm guessing it's around this area, uh, if I remember correctly, there will be an LED uh, which shows the status of it. So I think it's either green or blue. I can't remember the exact color, um, but there is an LED in front. Here you have the WD Elements logo. Um, here at the bottom, you there is more vending. So basically there's venting around the entire device, which is good. Um, good for heat distribution. And um, at the bottom, yeah, yeah, there's two rubber feet. So as you can see here, um, these rubber feet uh, stick out. And so that allows you to, to basically stick it on its top. Now, I'm pretty sure you can put it on its side because uh, hard drives can be put on their side. Um, but if you want it to have a good grip and a minimal, I guess, uh, footprint, then like, like this versus this, then obviously, um, yeah, this is probably the best option to go to. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, this is an all plastic enclosure. As you can see, it comes with uh, plastic to protect its finish, which is good. Um, but yeah, it's all plastic. Uh, if you drop it, I can't guarantee that the hard drive will survive, so don't drop it. Um, it's not really meant for like rugged kind of uh, survival stuff. It's, it's, just, it's basically a hard drive which you stick on your desktop, so on, on, your, on your table for your office computer and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. So just to recap, you get um, Western Digital hard drive, uh, whatever model. So they all are the same size. So whether it's a one, two, three, four, five or six terabyte, you get your USB 3.0 cable and you get your um, AC uh, or DC power adapter. And of course you get your user manual. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so. That's just been um, a quick unboxing of the uh, Western Digital Elements 5TB USB 3.0 hard drive. And so yeah, hope you liked it, like it if you did, dislike if you disliked it, leave a comment below if you have any questions or comments. Um, I'll try to get around to answering those as soon as I can. And um, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.